You ever have something that you own that you like wish it would break so you could go buy like a better version of it? <laughs> That's not this video. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Dan. I'm into hiking and backpacking and gear. If you guys are into that stuff too, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. That is what the channel is all about. So today we're going to talk about if I had to go out and buy gear again. And I've just got a shorter list. This isn't my like whole gear list. But if I had to go out and buy a gear again, this is exactly what I would buy. I mean, this is the stuff that if it fell into the fire, which actually happened, by the way, I lost my Helinox Chair Zero into the fire one time. I pulled it out just in the nick of time. It got totally charred up, but it still works. <laughs> but if I had to go out and buy gear again, this is what I would buy. Hey, but before we get into that, I want to say a huge thank you to those of you that came out to the subscriber meetup last weekend. We met at the Yankee Springs Recreation Area just south of Grand Rapids, Michigan, and um, we had a blast, man. It was just tons of fun finally meeting you guys on the other side of the camera. My son was there, and he felt like a rock star. You guys made him feel like a million bucks, so I really hope that we get to do that again sometime. This is the stuff. I would buy it 100%, wouldn't even think twice, and then sort of as like a bonus, okay? <laughs> I'm also gonna show you some cheaper options to some of the gear. Not all the gear, but some of the gear. Um, because this gear is really expensive. I mean, it's like on the super high end of backpacking gear. And if you're like me and you go often, this is the kind of stuff you're gonna buy. But um, if you don't go too often, maybe once or twice a year or hardly ever, you're gonna wanna buy or look into some of the cheaper options that I'm gonna give you. So why don't we go ahead uh, move the camera, I'll kind of get everything set up, and then we can uh, walk through it. All right, how's that for a uh, costume change, huh? This is the Mountain Hardware Ghost Whisperer jacket. Absolutely, without a shadow of a doubt, I would buy this jacket a hundred times over. This is a really expensive jacket, but it is 800 fill down. It is extremely lightweight. It's got a hood on it. It keeps me warm to about 40 degrees or so. Um, I have had it in the high 30s. Um, it definitely gets chilly at that point. You're gonna wanna make sure you've got base layers on underneath, but I would not even think twice. This is absolutely my go-to jacket every single time. All right, so here's the alternative. It's a marmot jacket. I don't remember the, you know, the. I just know it's marmot. That's all I know. I bought it at Costco for like 70 bucks. It's literally $100 or more cheaper than the Mountain Hardware Ghost Whisper. Now granted, this thing weighs about 12 or 13 ounces. It weighs quite a bit more, but it's actually warmer. This is a 700 fill jacket. But my point is, you don't have to buy a marmot jacket. There's cheaper jackets than this. You can get on Amazon and find jackets uh, that are like, you know, 30, 40 dollars that are down jackets that are still packable and are decently lightweight. You can definitely find less expensive alternatives. Dude, this is like costume change central, right? So this is the Outdoor Research Helium 2 rain jacket. This is an extremely popular rain jacket among the backpacking community and there's good reason for it. This thing is pretty much bomb proof. It has never failed on me. It's never gotten water leaked through it whatsoever. This is definitely an expensive jacket. You're gonna pay about $100 or more for it, um, but it's got a cool hood on it. It doesn't have pockets or pit zips or anything like that, but you know that's kind of a bummer, but I can just stick my hands in my pocket um, if I need to. Absolutely 100% I'd buy this again without even thinking about it. Weighs like six ounces, absolutely love this jacket. Let's get to the cheap alternative. All right, so you don't wanna spend 100 bucks on a rain jacket. You can spend like 15 or 20 bucks and get a rain suit. Um, I didn't bring the pants out with me, but this is just a rain jacket. This is the Frog Togs Ultralight Rain Jacket. The problem with this jacket though, is that it is pretty easily ripped. So um, this is the second one I've purchased, and the first one, it just ripped to shreds because I would catch it on thorns and sticks and that kind of stuff. Whenever it rips, it's definitely gonna have a hole where you know water can kind of leak in, but for something that's uh, super inexpensive, this is just as lightweight as the Outdoor Research Jacket. This thing weighs about six ounces as well. Um, it's still got, you know, the hood. You can uh, cinch this bad boy up, make it nice and tight. Um, and it's got even kind of a, a sort of a cloth inside to it so it can keep you a, a little bit insulated as well. Um, again, no pockets on this jacket at all, but it works. So it's a cheap alternative. You don't have to spend a hundred bucks. You can spend 15, 20 bucks to get a whole rain suit. <laughs> And we're back. <laughs> Costume change. All right, I'm back in the original jacket. All right, let's talk shelters. This would be the shelter I would buy again a hundred times over. I would not look at it. any other tents whatsoever. This is the Big Agnes Tiger Wall UL2. I have talked about this at nauseum in other videos. So I won't spend a ton of time on this. I'll just tell you it weighs two and a half pounds. This is the two person version. 
Um, it is an extremely expensive tent. This retails for about $400, but it is worth every penny in my opinion. I would absolutely pay that money again just so I can have this tent. Um, I wouldn't even look at another one. Okay, so the alternative would be to um, pick a tent that I don't own. Um, if I didn't own this tent and I didn't have the money to buy that tent, if I was, you know, having to buy everything over again, I would buy the Lanshan 2. And I don't own that tent. Disclaimer, I've never used that tent. I've never even seen it personally. But I have seen enough reviews from people that I personally trust to know that that like, tent is a huge hit in the backpacking community and everybody raves about it. Um, as a matter of fact, when I was asking on the community tab several months ago, you know, which shelter I should buy, that was one of the most popular choices that you guys recommended to me. Uh, the difference between that one and this one, I think the Lanshan is a single wall tent, if I'm not mistaken. And then also um, it takes trekking poles on each end to set it up. So it's a non-freestanding tent. In other words, you have to stake out the corners. It doesn't have like poles that will hold itself up. So um, if I had to do it inexpensive, I would definitely buy the Lanshan 2. All right, so since we're on uh, shelters, let's just talk about sleep systems. I would buy the Nemo Tensor Insulated Regular Wide Pad. Is that a surprise to any of you guys at all? Probably not. Hands down, without even thinking about it, 100% I would buy this. Absolutely again, I've never slept better in a tent than on this pad. So uh, this just wins, not even, not even looking at anybody else. So the inexpensive pad that you could get is the Outdoorsman Lab pad. This is definitely a big drop in comfort and warmth though. This is a 20 inch pad versus a 25 inch pad. Um, there is really hardly any R value or insulating value to this pad at all. I think it's like at one or just over one. But it will keep you off the ground, and I have slept on this before. It's decently comfortable, um, and it doesn't put my hip bones into the ground or anything like that. And this is something I bring for my kids. So this thing costs maybe 30, 40 bucks, I think, on Amazon. So inexpensive version. Um, if I didn't have the money, if I wasn't backpacking often, I would buy this. All right, so the next item I would absolutely buy again is my cook pot, the Evernew Titanium Pasta Pot. This is a one liter pot, and that's overkill for so many reasons for so many people. But for me, it is absolutely not overkill. This is an expensive pot. It costs like 60 bucks. But I bring people so much with me, especially my kids, that a one liter pot, the ability to have to uh, you know cook four cups of water is important to me. And this thing only weighs like just over four ounces. So it's got the spout on it, it's got the draining holes on it, it's got the silicone uh, handle here so you don't burn yourself. It's got a really wide base on it so it cooks evenly. I mean, there's just so many things that this pot has going for it, but I'd 100% buy this pot all over again. Okay, so the alternative to that pot is if you don't have the money or you're not gonna backpack that much, just go on Amazon and uh, type in backpacking pots and this pot is going to come up. This is a cheap Chinese pot. I don't even know the name of this pot. It's a generic one. It's made under many different manufacturers' names, but it's decently lightweight. Um, I believe it's aluminum. Uh, it's got the silicone handles on it. It's got the markings for uh, measuring water, just like my other pot. It's got a decently wide base on it. it doesn't have a spout on it. It's definitely heavier. Um, but it is a solid pot and it will work. It also comes with a mug that I don't really think you need, but it does. So um, this could definitely be an inexpensive version for you guys out there that aren't willing to spend 60 bucks on a pot, but want something that'll just get you into backpacking, that'll just get you cooking those meals and boiling water quickly. All right, and last, you gotta have something to carry it in. So obviously my go-to is going to be the backpack that I've been using, which is the Z-Pax Arc Blast, a 21 ounce backpack with modifications, it's right around 23 ounces. So 100%, hands down, I would absolutely buy the Z-Pax Arc Blast again. This is an expensive pack. This is over $300 for the backpack, but it's worth every penny in my opinion. All right, so if you don't have 300 bucks to spend on a backpack, uh, I would recommend this backpack. Um, this is the old version of the backpack actually that I would recommend. I don't even know if they sell this one anymore. This is the Osprey Exos 48. They also make it in a 58 liter. Uh, but it's very similar in style to my Z-Packs. Um, it weighs about a pound more, 
but it's really comfortable and it's built like a tank. This backpack, I think you can find maybe 120, 130 bucks online. Um, that still may sound expensive to you, but honestly, if you're gonna invest in anything backpacking, you're definitely gonna wanna spend a little bit more money on your backpack. And I can already hear you guys are getting ready to type into the comments about the amazing cheap backpack that you bought at Walmart and you've had it for years and you've never had any problems or whatever, and that's awesome. But for the majority of people out there, those types of backpacks really just don't work. Um, you're definitely gonna wanna up your game when it comes to your backpack. So put a couple bucks into it and definitely buy a decent backpack for your trips. All right, also part of my sleep system, you need a quilt or a sleeping bag. Hands down, all day long, I'm going to UGQ and I'm buying their 20 degree Bandit. I have several manufacturers. I've got Outdoor Vitals, I've got Z-Packs, I've got Enlightened Equipment, I've got the Costco quilt, I have Warb on it. Um, I have seen them all, I've slept in them all, and they are all good quilts, don't get me wrong. You, uh, you really can't go wrong with any of those companies, but if I had to do it all over again, I'm going to UGQ. They're the most customizable. I absolutely love this quilt. It is built amazingly. Every stitch on here is perfect. Um, it is rated comfortably to the actual rating. So 20 degrees is actually the comfort rating of this quilt. It's not the, you, hey, you're not gonna die rating. Um, this is an excellent, excellent quilt for what it is. So I tell you that to tell you this, I don't have a cheap alternative for you because this is something I would 100% invest in. Absolutely. Uh, I couldn't even think of a cheap alternative. So if you guys know of an inexpensive, good, you know, sleeping bag or quilt, that would uh, be better than this option for people, please let us know in the comments below. Honestly, I just couldn't think of one. I don't own one. I have a Costco quilt, but that's, you know, really for more like 50 degrees or more. So anyway, UGQ, absolutely all the way, 100%. All right, guys, that's it. That's what I got for you guys today. If you like this video, please make sure you hit that like button. Also, subscribe for more. Make sure you hit the bell notification so that I can send you a video every single time it's released. And I will see you on the next one.